Uh, I would love to hear maybe instead of a king moving together with you, I mean, that was beautiful. I mean, right. I mean, it's what? Uh, maybe he just keep like one one base, and I hear you manipulating this brighter to darker sound. Oh, okay. That'll be, that'll yeah, be um, the opposite. Yeah, yeah, the opposite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be, okay. be cool. Okay. Um, just a little bit. Yeah. Let's do a, a what what note? Just you just gotta give me a bass note. better I can control what colors I'm going to but yeah but that's but, but when he's playing when I was talking about before that's why I'm so timid to move because I know where I want to go but he doesn't know where I want to go mm-hmm. you know but if we get in a if we get some if you play with people long enough as, as you know they kind of know but we can get there I've known him long enough it's just you haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> so you were talking about earlier about just the chord changes and remembering. One of those, one of the ways that I hear songs just in general, I don't listen to the songs chord by chord. It's all one sound and, and it's all like movements. So that last thing that he did before, he, he did like a, uh, it was an E flat. Was it like,
scale and I'm thinking the entire time then it still won't work so it's about the placement of when and where the melody and that's how I think of tunes just in general it's really just blocks of blocks of keys or colors within the song and then you just place the melody which parts is going because I've never been good at chord to chord stuff you know so it's about like um kind of just ingesting the entire song, just knowing it like that. Because I wonder like, what it would be if I just played the scale freely. Would it one, two? <laughs> itself is 